Okay guys, to make work the dual motor system with a single single dash, but still I mean a one you're gonna hide it into the the stem of the scooter. So it's simple. So as we can see right here, this is the power control cable that it runs from the dashboard all the way to the controller. So as we can see, I have the second one over here that it connects also to the second controller and it comes from the dash. See dash and dash right here that hits over here. So um, to make this work, all you're going to need to do is connect the green wire, make a bridge between the, this green wire from this dash to the second dash. So it's a green wire, what you're going to be putting together. That we allow your, um, your dashboard, to your main dashboard, whenever you press the power, the second dash is going to go on, it's going to automatically uh, turn on the controller and all the system. So that's how simple it is. So now in the dashboard, I mean the slave one that I call the one that you're going to put inside the um, stem of the scooter and I'm going to show that in the video how it's done. Um, so you're going to cut off all the wires. Basically you're going to just leave the green and the blue, which are the green is from the throttle and the blue is from the, from the um, brake lever. So you're going to cut off all those wires. You're going to leave only these two. You're going to connect the red one to the green, which is the... Um, uh, the throttle in the black to the blue which is the um, the brake so and then you're gonna make that bridge go to the uh, to the main dutch in the main in the main dutch also you're gonna remove you're gonna unplug your your uh, your lever and you're not gonna plug it back because that's the key to prevent uh burning controllers so that's what's my own discovery in um and you must apply it, otherwise your controller get burned uh, with the system. So, and again, we go back over here, as you can see, I have the blue uh, connecting to the data cable, which is the blue cable over here that comes from the, for the brake lever. And the red one, will connect to the throttle. As we can see the throttle, it will need to be connected for this one for in order to work the whole thing. So, and that's the only thing you're gonna be connecting. And as we can see, the bridge that it comes from the controllers, is before the dash, before the dash, and these are after the dash. And as we can see over here, the cable, so you understand what the wires are for. The red one is the, um, the plus power, and the, um, in, in, in the black is the uh, negative. And the green is the data cable to which you need to connect your red uh, to make the bridge between the two dashboards. So, and that's it, that's the whole connection for your dual motors between the controllers and the dutch. Okay, we're gonna call this the slave uh, uh, dutch. So as we can see, all I'm taking uh, connection over here is the red in the, in the black wire. And the red is gonna connect to the throttle line, which is the, the green line. And the blue line is is for the for the brake. Just seal it properly with uh, by cutting the wires in a solder, which is the recommended way to do it soldering. From the slave dutch, all you need is the green and the blue wire. Everything else cut off and throw away. But just leaving those two wires, which are the ones that are gonna be connecting to the main dash. That's it. That's how you're going to actually do it in the main dash. All right, so that's what you can see. The only two wires that we're gonna need, we need in this one is just the red and the black, which comes from the green and the blue. This dash, you can charge it just inside the tube of the, of the stem. And this red again in the main throttle, the, the green one, sorry, is gonna go to the red. Coming from the other throttle.
blue to black. And done. So that's the bridge between the two uh, touch boards. So now we are going to do the other one. So I have this one already here. So this is going to be for the sleeve um, touch. So we're going to plug it. As you can see, I have the green wire over here. The, the wire you're going to be using to connect the two uh, controllers to turn it on with one switch is going to be the um, the green wire it's going to connect like this to the second controller to the next to the other green wire Another thing that you will see in this setup is that um, I have a different connectors which are very big and these are called X90 and are for, as we can see, this is the XT60 that comes with the controllers and so with the rest of the parts of the scooter but these need to be upgraded to XT90 which are these ones. This is important for you to know that uh, uh, I tested it and these ones and they burnt up uh, on 60 volts on dual motors front motor connection that you need to do for it simply connect your your um, converter um, or if you are using a really different motor um, this is the connections you're going to need to do I uh, use a uh, MR60 connectors right here with three pins so and then you're going to connect the second one which is the whole sensor connects over here and then you have um, the dashboard which is the we call it the main power uh, to turn on the, the scooter, which is this cable. And then uh, in a second, the rear um, controller, also it is the same. And as we can see, both controllers are uh, D controllers that are being tested in just regular without any upgrades. As you can see, it's just regular thing, never touch. So I just installed them, they're new. I installed the frameworks already too. So they are ready and um, and that's it. So as we can see, I've also I upgraded um, the connectors for both, and I did the conversion. And these controllers and both controllers are are already uh, upgraded. So as we can see, I have yellow with a uh, blue, brown with green, blue with yellow, and that's the conversion for these motors to run in a different way, which is the Wolf Warrior, uh, 1100 watts. And as we can see over here, wiring also. I mean, you cannot see it because it's actually sealed already, but um, that's how it is converted to for the whole sensor. And then we have the second dashboard connection. And as we can see, controllers over here are installed properly. And that's the reason why people come back over here all the time to get installed at things. Because I, I take the extra step and do the little holes in it to install properly. As, as this one is uh, it's going to be installed the very same way. As we can see, I have an extra hole over there. And I made another extra hole over here also using the same type of screws that uh, we removed from the um, from the battery, from the original battery. As you can see, I have um, external battery, so I'm going to explain this as the most easier way as I can. All right, so the connection over there, because it's a uh, 48B inside and 12B outside, so that makes 60 volts. So this is the bridge I'm using for the, um, for the two controllers. Controller one connects like this. And then we have second controller is going to connect like this. So having this down like this, I'm going to connect my main port, which is going to come like this. From, this is the external. And I have my battery here, the 4AB connects there. Right, that's going to be all my wiring and not, now look what happens so this is my so i was saying this is the slave 
one green wire coming in and then we have the the the, the brake lever the lever in the the brake lever in the in the throttle from here from this one so look what happened once i press this throttle or this uh dashboard this is the main dashboard so what happens here is that you don't need to connect. What I'm meaning is that I'm saying is that you, don't, you all you need to do is do these bridges. The green wire you turn on is the, the second dash. And then the, the, this red and black wire in the middle that makes the bridge the, between the two dash is what it uh, controls the, the motors. Simple as that. See, that's the the rear and I have the, the front one there so and that's it that's the the the, the dual setup for um for dual motors I'm gonna put all together and then I uh, will show how it looks like after okay the power between the two batteries we have let's see Sixty-six point six volts.